Hi folks, CNC machines don't crash, operators crash them. Uh, so we just got a brand new UMC 500. No, we didn't crash it, but I don't want to crash it. Uh, and a really stupid way to crash a machine is if you have a, especially on a new machine, um, you don't touch off a tool. And of course, yes, you should touch off tools, but we're human and it ends up that it's a super easy way to avoid the machine ever running when a tool offset is still zero, like they come from the factory. Uh, so let's walk through just how simple we can do that with one line of code. So before we dive into that one line of code, I do wanna give a shout out to Haas, both as a company and for what they do, and Mark Terryberry, who helped me when I got stuck on something on this video. Um, the tips of the day over the years, the sharing the knowledge, the kind of paying it forward, that culture of that has really been great. And not only on this video that we'll link to uh, in the description on macro variables that I was referencing, but this PDF that they publish, uh, again, we'll share it, uh, that had some really useful information for this video. So the only line of code that you need is this if, if statement, but it actually does kind of three pretty cool things within one line of code. Um, so let's break it down. The first section is if, and then this bracketed section. And to me, uh, as a layman, this was probably like the most complicated thing to figure out because I'm bracketing, or I'm putting a pound of, around a bracketed range. And in the bracketed range, the first number, 3026, is a pound, the second one isn't. So what's up with that? Um, it ends up, after you kind of realize it, it's pretty simple. If you look at this sheet, pound 3026 is our active tool number. So if you have tool 21 in your spindle, uh, the variable pound 3026 will equal 21. Um, that's the tool number, it's not the tool Z length. And that's what we're trying to do here. I wanna stop the machine from running if the tool length is still zero. And it's gonna crash right into your fixture part, etc. So why are we adding 2000 to it? If you look at this length geometry column right here, the offsets, pound 2000 to pound 2200 are the length variables for each tool. Uh, but we don't wanna hard code those in, we want it to be macro variable intelligent. So it ends up that if we take pound 3026 to it and we just add 2000 to it, um, for example, in my tool 21, that would mean it becomes 2021 and 2021 is the Z length uh, variable for that tool. So this is statement says, if the Z length variable of tool 21 is equal to zero, then do this. This is just an alarm. Uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know how to do this. I found it in the Haas manual. We've actually used it in some of our other probing videos that we've covered. Uh, and it says pound 3000 equals 100. And it even gives us the message at the operator uh, console. It says tool length not set, which is great. Now you, not only do you, does it stop the machine, but it tells you why it stopped. The only other lines of code that we need, um, we're starting this program with the program name 09015, and I'm calling it 9015 because I wanna implement this as a um, alias. So what we're doing in here on the control is we copy this 9015.nc file over to our Haas control, and then um, we go into the Haas control and set alias, and you can pick whatever G code that you want. Um, and let's say we pick G157. G157 is tied to this 09015 program, which is great. That means any type I, anytime I type in G157, it calls this, I believe it's a subroutine, um, which is nice because now if you wanna make this an edit, you only have to edit it once and any program on that machine that calls G157 will um, you know, pull up this sub program. It also makes it really nice because you can easily modify your post processor or even like Infusion do an NC pass through if you wanted to call this up uh, in all instances or just certain instances. Um, if you want to see more about modifying post processors too, by the way, head over to NYC CNC. We've got lots of videos on DIY post edits from a guy who didn't know anything about modifying posts and have learned, learned a bit over the years along with some help from others. Um, we also are back to hosting our hands-on classes here in Zanesville, Ohio. So if you wanna come learn and spend time on a hands-on machine, We've got our milling class now, and we're, we bought that UMC because we're adding five axis, uh, and we bought uh, an SC20Y and some Tormach Lays to host a turning class. And a shout out to DSI, who we're now partnering with to get more support on our end for the fusion stuff and post stuff that we can't tackle. And finally, because it's a subroutine, you need to do an M99 that kind of ends it and sends it back to the main program and you're done. So as always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you found that educational. We'll put the uh, example of the code and the other PDFs and resources down in the description. Otherwise, take care. See you soon.